Lobbies, welcome back to another DIY. Today is DIY Wednesday. If you guys haven't checked out my last DIY, which I uploaded last week, I made three, three different types of pumpkin spiced items, which I'm so excited about because I will be making the cheesecake trifle for a party that I'm going to this weekend. So hopefully it will turn out fantastical. But today I am going to share with you guys how I built this really cute end table. It cost me less than $12, I think, maybe even less than that. Um, if you guys may know, I am obviously trying to decorate my living space and I'm trying to do it for a under $2,000 because I want to buy myself a sick TV. I have to make sure that I don't spend too much on furniture. I am going to show you guys how to make this really cute end table and my mom thought it was really, really adorable and it's so easy. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and grab all of our stuff and... Okay, so for this project, you will need a crate. I got mine from Walmart. You can find them at Michael's or at a barn or anywhere else really. Okay, first and foremost, you are going to paint your crate. Now, if your crate is a little bit rough, you can sand it down to smooth everything out. But if it's not, you can just paint right on top of it. I'm using the Waverly brand of paint and it's in their chalk line and the color is ivory. This by far has got to be my most favorite craft paint that is out there. If you guys have a Walmart and they have this available, be sure to definitely check it out. Okay, next for the legs, I found these cute little legs from Home Depot and they were like $1.50 each. How awesome! Okay, so at the bottom, you are going to mark out all the holes where you're going to attach the legs. Now using a power drill, you're going to make holes on all of the markings. I highly suggest working with a smaller drill bit first. And then switching to a drill bit that is the same size as the thread size on the legs, you can go ahead and drill a hole right on top of the smaller holes. And by starting with the smaller drill bit, it actually prevents the crate from splitting. So yeah, make sure you work your way up in drill bit size. Now all you gotta do is take your fancy pants legs and screw it into the hole. Once you got all four legs on, it's going to look just like this. Now you can go ahead and paint the legs as well. In retrospect, I think I should have screwed on the legs and then paint the whole thing at once, but that did not work in my head. Also, as you guys see, the inside of this is orange and uh, it looked horrible, so I decided to repaint it completely ivory as well. Also to protect the end table and to keep it quite waterproof, I'm using the clear wax on top of it. And it's really great because it smooths out the paint and it just looks really, really well done. And ta-da, look how sweet and cute this end table is. Wasn't that super easy to do? So yeah, trust me you guys, anyone can totally tackle this. So what do you guys think of the DIY? Isn't the end table totally, totally cute? You can make two of them. I only have one in my living room because I like different pieces in my living room. I don't like things to be too matchy-matchy. I think these would be really cute as nightstands as well. So, you know, just take the idea and totally running with it. Um, it's super easy, doesn't cost very much, and I'm sure anyone can tackle this. Also, if you guys missed the last DIY of a coffee table that I did, I turned it into like a marble-like coffee table that cost me like under 30 bucks at Think, and it looks fantastical. Be sure to check out those DIYs. Yeah, if you guys like this DIY um, and you're gonna try it out for yourself, be sure to send me a photo to any one of my social medias with the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N. And I would love to check it out because I love to see your work. If you like this video, be sure to like it down below, share it with everyone that you know, and of course, subscribe to my channel because every subscription equates to one fairy dust. I eat the fairy dust and that's what motivates me to create more DIYs and videos for you guys. And I think that's it. So so y'all know how to end my videos. Remember to always rock on, slow bees. Bye. For this one, we're making the pumpkin spice latte and obviously you're gonna need a cute arse mug for this. For that pumpkin-y flavor, you're gonna need 100% pure pumpkin puree. Depending on your taste buds, you can decide how much pumpkin puree you would like to have in your latte. For me personally, I like to have two tablespoons of it. Next, moving on to my favorite kitchen appliance ever. This is my Nespresso. If you don't have a Nespresso, that's totally OK. 